Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Yeah, so I've been waiting a couple of days to kind of just digest everything I saw on Thursday. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is essentially about, without going into spoilers, Chadwick Boseman passed away. So that means T'Challa's passed away. Black Panther 2 is about, you know, T'Challa's gone. Who's gonna be the next Black Panther? What, what is this? mean for Wakanda. I really don't want to ruffle any feathers. And I know in my reaction video, I said I trust Ryan Coogler. Ugh, man. Personally, I felt like the first half of the movie felt very dragged to a certain degree. There's multiple times during the movie where I just felt uninterested, beginning, middle, and end. It was very slow. It was very, very slow for me. I get it. There's other aspects to Black Panther. There's other aspects to the Black to Black Panther besides just being Black Panther. You know, there's a Wakanda aspect to it. Wakanda is its own nation, and because it's its own nation, all the other nations are very they feel very threatened. It focuses on a lot of geopolitical aspects of it to a certain degree. Like I get it. I understand it. I understand it. I was just really watching the movie, waiting for like that moment for me to get really, really excited. And there was a few moments in that first half of the film still that kind of got me. It wasn't until like a very pivotal moment occurred in the film. And even when that happened, I was kind of in shock. All right, well, what's going to happen now, basically? You know what I mean? Like, and if you know the part I'm talking about, you know, like, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, just look at my spoiler review. I'll get into that part more specifically. And then the movie started to pick up. The movie started to pick up. Black Panther arrived. I'm 50 50 on this movie. I don't think I could see myself re watching it again until like it gets onto streaming or something like that. And I hate to say that because I mean, the first Black Panther was amazing. So there were so many perfect things, so many great things about Black Panther, the film itself, and everything else surrounding it outside of the film that just made it such a great overall experience. Whereas this one, it didn't do what it needed to do for me. My cousin brought up a good point where he was kind of like, this is paying homage to to T'Challa, to Chadwick Boseman. So I think to a certain degree, there was an aspect to that. I'm honestly gonna have to watch other people's reviews to see their viewpoint on it. But I personally, I'm just being honest. Like, I, and I'm not like the type to really try to hate something. Like, Marvel Phase 4 has been super mid and I feel like even in watching Black Panther 2, look, I really don't want to, I don't want no hate. I really don't. Like, I love Black Panther. Like, I literally have a T'Challa poster right here, bro. Like, I love Black Panther. And then if they do have a Black Panther 3, like, I feel like it'll feel more, it'll feel more, like, natural. It won't feel like how this one felt. I feel like Ryan Coogler tried to recapture certain moments from the first Black Panther film and it just didn't hit the same. I could tell and it just didn't hit the same. They redid the chase scene, it didn't hit the same for me. And then I think the other aspect to it is where if you've seen the trailer, Namor or Neymar, who is essentially like an Aquaman basically. Like <laughs> Namor is like, he's that guy. He was one of the best parts of the film in my opinion. All of the characters did their job. I think everyone did a good job. I think everyone, because they're focusing on like the absence of a T'Challa, of a Black Panther, everyone's kind of reacting based off of that. Like everyone is doing things in response to that. All the characters are doing that essentially. Queen Ramonda, she did her thing. Everyone did their thing. I wanna say everyone did their thing. There's one post credit scene. And that post credit scene, it, it saved the movie for me. Man, stay for that post credit scene. Like, it, uh, one of the longer post credit scenes too, but for someone who's going to go watch the film, if they're like, bro, like I'm halfway through this thing and I'm not enjoying myself at all. I don't blame you if you don't stay for the post credit scene, but I will say like, stay for it. Like stay for it, at least stay for that. And I think maybe that will kind of make the overall story for Black Panther Wakanda forever feel a lot more fulfilling. That's the best way I can put it as far as that that's concerned. This movie felt like losing a family member, but losing like that one family member that they really keep the glue together. They really hold, they keep everyone together. Say that family member passes away, now the dynamics of the family changes. 
everyone re everyone reacts and starts living life differently now that that person is gone essentially throughout the entire film you kind of get that feeling once you get to the post credit scene it all felt worth it um me personally i rate the black the first black panther like an a a plus like like yo it's perfect like black panther the first film it is damn near perfect for me this is a perfect movie for me like i could watch it but this is like i could put it on and be like i know exactly what's gonna happen and be excited and still watch it even if i'm playing it in the background whereas this one might be more so like i might play it i might play it in the background and maybe like maybe i'll take a peek at it sometimes i don't know like that's the best way for me to put it i really do believe that the cast without a chadwick boseman i think is still very capable of being successful like capable of making a great black panther film i think the overall everyone that helped make this film but I think they did great with what they could do with it. If y'all enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section um, if you enjoyed the movie or like, what, like, do you agree with my take on it? I was kind of functioning on, I would say I was kind of functioning on like five hours of sleep. I've had it. I had a really long day. I watched the movie at like 5.30 p.m., but that's after a full day of work and whatnot. And... I will say that like I wasn't the most enthusiastic going into the movie from an energy per from an energy level. Like I was already I was already tired, but I was like I'm about to go watch Black Panther two, so let me get myself together. I know mentally I feel tired and all this, but like no, we're gonna go into this movie and really 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 watch this movie. We're gonna watch it and we're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. And man, like, and I say this to say the reason why I you can't. Even, you can't count the fact that like I didn't have enough sleep that day against me is because the second half of the movie is where it really picked up. And mind you, the movie is like almost three hours long. 